you are welcome back to my channel i'm super excited to solve this trigonometry geometry question with you please this is not drawn to scale and in this question we are asked to find the value of the area of this triangle this is a right angle triangle if from a to this point let's call this point p okay is is 3 and from p to c is 4 the question says we should find the area of this triangle okay first of all let's remember the formula for area of a triangle now area of triangle abc should be equal to half base the base is bc multiplied by the height and the height is ab so we are going to try as much as possible to find the value of BC and the value of AB, all right? So first of all, I want us to remember this theorem because it's very important to us right now. Now this theorem says that from an extended, from an extended point, the lengths of two tangents are equal. From an extended point, the length of two tangents are equal. Now, what this means is that if we have a circle, okay, let's call this, if this is a circle because it's a hand, free hand sketch. Now, if you have a circle and you have two tangents, this is the first tangent, this is the second tangent, and they meet at point P. So AP and BP are equal. That is what this particular theorem is talking about. So using this particular theorem, let's go back to our diagram. Now, you can see that AP and let's call this particular point, point C, point D, sorry, we already have C. And call this particular point, point E, okay? Now you can see that AD and AP are tangent to this circle. And their meeting point is A. So it simply means that AP should be equal to AD, right? So it means that AD is also equal to 3. So let's write that. Now, also, let us consider PC and EC, right? So PC and EC are tangents to this particular circle at points p and e and they all meet at point c so it simply means that pc should be equal to ec which is equal to 4. all right now we can go ahead and look at point b as well you can see that db and be are tangent to this circle at point d and e and they meet at point p so it simply means that db is equal to be right so if we call this place y and this place y as well because they should have equal length now let us say bc minus ab okay so bc minus ab is equal to now our bc is y plus 4 so we have y plus 4 minus our ab is 3 plus y or y plus 3 so we have y plus 3 okay now i'm trying to adjust this to be comfortable okay now we have bc minus ab is equal to y plus 4 minus times y is minus y minus times plus 3 is minus 3. So we have bc minus ab is equal to y minus y plus 4 minus 3 if we collect like terms so bc minus ab is equal to 
y minus y is 0 and 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, now let's square both sides. Squaring both sides, we have BC minus AB all squared is equal to 1 squared. Now remember that A minus B all squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. So it means that BC minus AB squared should be equal to BC squared plus AB squared minus 2 multiplied by BC multiplied by AB is equal to 1 squared is 1. Now I want us to look at this diagram again. In triangle ABC, remember that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. Okay? Now because it's a right angle triangle, it simply means that AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared. Okay? So, but in triangle ABC, using Pythagorean theorem, AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared. So we have AB squared plus BC squared is equal to, now AC is what? 3 plus 4, right? So it's equal to 3 plus 4 squared. So we have AB squared plus BC squared is equal to 7 squared. So AB squared plus BC squared is equal to 49. Now, we go back to this particular equation. So we have BC squared plus AB squared. Remember that that is equal to 49, right? So we are going to replace BC squared plus AB squared with 49. Therefore, we have, recall that we have this equation that BC squared plus AB squared minus 2BCAB is equal to 1. So I'll copy that out. BC squared plus AB squared. I know you can see this um, coming. BCAB equals 1. So I just copied that out. Right. Now, remember that BC squared plus AB squared is 49. So we are going to replace this with 49. So we have 49 minus 2BCAB is equal to 1. Now let's bring 1 to the other side. If we do that, we have 49 minus 1 is equal to, then let's take minus 2BCAB to the other side. So it will become 2BCAB. Now 49 minus 1 will give us 48 is equal to 2BCAB. Now let's divide both sides by 2. Dividing both sides by 2. We have 48 divided by 2 is equal to 2BCAB divided by 2. So 2 we divide this to give us 24 is equal to 2 we divide itself to give us 1. So we have BCAB. Now I want us to please hit the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, if this is the first time you are seeing an amazing video, okay? Like, comment, and share if you actually love what you are seeing. And this is where we stopped. That 24 is equal to BC multiplied by AB. All right? Okay. Now, I want you to go back to this particular question. You can see that the area of ABC is half of BCAB. Half of it, okay? So it means that for us to get the area of this triangle, we need half of this. So to get half of this, that means we need to multiply this side by half, right? And the mathematics, you don't just 
multiply one side by something and you leave the other side you must balance it so that's why we're going to multiplying both sides by half we are going to have 24 multiplied by half is equal to bc multiplied by ab multiplied by half so we are going to have 12 is equal to half bc ab but area of triangle abc is equal to half bc ab this implies that the area of triangle abc is equal to 12 units squared thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye